Hello everybody, today we are going to be taking a look at a new product from Freewell, what they describe as a future-proof filter system. Let's find out. My name is Ben Harvey, if you're new here, I am a landscape photographer. I create tutorials on all things photography and video related. I'm also a fully qualified architect, which leads me to photograph a lot of architecture as well as create real estate videos, all of which require filters of some description. On that note, let's take a look at the new K2 system from Freewell. First of all, the K2 filter system is an evolution of Freewell's original magnetic filter system, which was released in the summer of 2021. This was the most funded camera filter system on Indiegogo, and I made a separate review of that. I'll put the link up here. Now the original magnetic filter system was primarily aimed at video content creators as it can accommodate a polarizer, a fixed ND, a variable ND, as well as other special effects filters. The K2 system goes a step further by introducing square filters to the system. This allows you to insert grad filters for landscape photography or other square filters to suit your needs with the continued use of polarizers and magnetic NDs on the front. This is why they refer to it as future proof as the K2 can now accommodate all filter types. The upgrade from the original magnetic filter system therefore include true color variable NDs, which claims to be neutral in its color rendition. We'll test this later on in the video. The variable ND now spans from one to five stops, whereas the previous version started at two stops. Once again, these have hard stops on them to avoid cross polarization. If you don't know what that is, then check out my first video. I'll put a link up here. There is a quick release system with safety pins, enabling fast installation without screwing on any filters or threads and they've managed to squeeze in a spirit level to ensure that you have your grad filters horizontal. And perhaps the most important thing of all, the ability to take square filters, which they refer to as K2 Island. As previously, the system will come in a variety of thread sizes from 52 millimeters all the way up to 82 millimeters. But once this is on the front of your lens, you will no longer be able to install a lens hood. Now taking a step back, let's discuss the different types of filters and systems that this product is combining. If you are shooting video, then the most common way of controlling your shutter speed is with a variable ND. Quite simply, this is two polarizers fixed together that you can turn independently. The basic versions suffer from cross polarization as you can essentially push the effect too far. Filter companies then started to split these NDs into two strengths, typically a two to five stop and then a separate six to nine stop for complete freedom. To shoot video and to have complete control in all lighting conditions, you would therefore have to have two variable ND filters. The alternative to this, which is what I do on the majority of my YouTube videos, is use Freewell's magnetic fixed ND filters. And then I just vary my ISO to make up the difference in the exposure. Then if you want to shoot landscapes, you have to invest in a completely separate filter system. These typically accommodate a polarizing filter closest to the lens. And then in front of that, you have the ability to stack square filters. Typically these are grad filters and long exposure filters. Freewell's new design brings all of these filter types together in one system. Let me show you how it works. First of all, you find the thread that fits your lens and you screw that onto the front of your lens. And I leave mine on the lens the whole time. Next, you install the system by pinching the red spring clips on each side of the holder and then mounting it onto the front of your lens. For added security, you can screw in these safety pins on each side. If you are using grad filters, then just make sure that the spirit level is correct before tightening up these safety pins. Now the base filters, which are the smaller circular filters, fit inside the system, whereas the larger magnetic filters are installed on the front. To ensure that the hard stops of the filters are working correctly, align the white arrow with the numbers and this will ensure that you cannot rotate the filter any further. So far, this is exactly the same process as the original product that was released in 2021. Now let's talk about the square filters. To install the square filters, there are two hinge mechanisms at the top and the bottom, which are held in place with magnets. And you simply flip this out to reveal a channel for square filters. Simply slide the filter in from the top until it's in the desired position. The square filters have a metal frame and handle with a grip that stops the filters passing all the way through the system. So you don't have to worry about them falling out the bottom. I've been using the system for a few months now and the filters are still reassuringly firm to install and remove. The K2 system is not compatible with any other 100 mm square filter system, as these filters measure approximately 92 mm across, nor is this compatible with any of Freewell's previous filters. You can see the size difference when you put these two systems side by side. This is the original on the left and the K2 on the right. This is also reflected in the size of the carry cases that are provided. The K2 system requires larger front filters as the further you step away from the front of the lens, the greater the chance of vignetting. And the K2 now has to accommodate square filters as well. 
To test this, I shot a video clip at 16 millimeters, my widest lens, with a base filter and a variable ND and square filter. As you can see, there was no vignetting created by the filter system. Freewell have sent me the base variable ND, the one to five stop ND, which if you turn it around becomes a circular polarizer, the six to nine stop ND, which if you reverse that becomes an ND32 with a polarizer, a soft grad filter, a one eight snow mist filter, and a gold streak filter. Let's start with the true color variable ND filters, which as mentioned earlier, are designed to create minimal color cast. I tested these out in my living room on an overcast day, therefore consistent lighting, with a fixed exposure and a fixed white balance to see if there was any difference. Here you can see the original without any filters next to the various options. I'm not seeing any color shift when using these filters. To test the sharpness of the grad filter, I took this shot of Arundel Castle at sunrise without any filters and then with the grad filter. Once again, I'm not seeing any loss of detail. Returning to indoors, I then installed the snow mist filter and shot a 4K video clip so that we can punch in to look at the detail. The snow mist filter is obviously designed to soften details and create a softer roll off of the highlights to give you a dreamy look. So don't worry about the detail. The gold streak filter is designed to replicate the lens flares that you get with an anamorphic lens. Traditionally, these flares used to be blue, but there are new options including gold and silver appearing on the market. I'm fortunate enough to own an anamorphic lens so I can show you how a genuine anamorphic lens reacts to a direct light source when compared to this filter. Now the gold streak filter appears to react to all bright areas, making it more intense than an anamorphic lens, which only creates flares when confronted with a direct light source, such as a sun or an LED torch. When I was using the gold streak filter outside, I found the effect to be a bit overwhelming, whereas indoors, where I had a bit more control over the lighting, it was a lot better. How much flaring and what color you like is personal preference, but hopefully you found this comparison helpful anyway. The K2 filter system will be going on an Indiegogo campaign, which I'll put an affiliate link to at the top of the description below. Each of the individual components will be sold separately or as part of a kit. I'll put all of the prices and everything you need to know in the description. Thanks to Freewell for sending this out for me to review and for continuing to innovate. Thank you for watching. If you've got any questions, then let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I'll see you in the next video.